Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us here at Apologia Center. I'm Arthur Asadurian. I want to thank you guys again for your support, the comments, the likes, the shares, and the subscriptions. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time on this channel and you enjoy what you see. Let's just jump into it. Sean King, a popular social media individual, has recently tweeted that what we need to do is get rid of all the statues of Jesus and all the paintings and the icons of Jesus because, here it is, they're racist and it's white supremacist symbols. I want to take a couple of minutes to give Sean King a history lesson. And I really hope that this video falls into his hands and he watches it with an open mind and an open heart. For the rest of us, let's take down a little trip throughout history, look at some images, look at how Christians have, be, have depicted Jesus in different cultures, and whether we should even be having the discussion of Jesus being white, Jesus being black, Jesus being Jewish. Now, for those of us who actually read the Bible, there's no question about what nationality Jesus was. And that was a descendant of Abraham, a descendant of David, from the line of Israel, out of Judah, the tribe of Judah. That's why he's called the Lion of Judah. So, Sean King, you need to pay a little attention here. For example, look at this icon. Almost all of these are icons or paintings. Um, this is an icon from Egypt, and it is dated anywhere from the 6th to the 8th century. Does this look like a European Jesus that is a white supremacist or a symbol of white supremacy? How about this uh, uh, painting, which is of Syrian origin from about 1000 AD to 1050 AD? How about this one from the 12th century, which is at the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul? This would be Byzantine art uh, because uh, this would have been in the Byzantine Empire. And it's very easy to actually identify Byzantine art and the Byzantine Jesus. And how about this following one, which is of Russian origin? It's in Moscow, Russia from the 12th century. And I have to mention, since being an Armenian myself and belonging to the people who first adopted Christianity as a national religion, this is from 1211 AD. And this is Jesus coming into Jerusalem. The following two are probably two of my favorite ones. This is a Chinese Manichaean Jesus. He doesn't look like a white supremacist or a European Anglo guy to me. And the one right after it is an Ethiopian icon from the 15th century. Since we've all seen these, I hope that this very quick history lesson will stand out to us. And maybe the response we can give to Sean is this. Jesus is for the world, and peoples of the world have depicted Jesus as one of themselves. They have depicted Jesus as one of us, and this is fundamental to the Christian doctrine of the Incarnation. For those who don't know the doctrine of the Incarnation, let me break it down. Jesus, being the second person of the Trinity, took on human flesh and became a human being, so that he would live the life that you and I cannot live. He would suffer and die for our sins. And when we put our faith in Jesus Christ, then we will be saved. So it makes so much sense that humanity has depicted Jesus. Depending on the cultures we find ourselves in, depending on the way we look in whatever culture that is, if that's African, then that's with an African context, like the Ethiopian one or the Egyptian one. If that's Asian, then you get to see the Chinese one and there's Indian icons. 
if it's Armenian or Syrian, if it's Ukrainian or Russian, if it's Greek Byzantine or Latin Italian, if it's French, if it's German, if it's English or if it's American, people have a right. And as a matter of fact, I would say it makes perfect sense theologically for cultures to represent Jesus as one of their own. This is not to say that Jesus was actually of this culture, but this is to say that there is a grand overshadowing of a theological perspective that is telling us God identified with humanity, God identified with us in what we are to save us from the condition. And so my challenge to Mr. King is this, stop it. Stop trying to make this an issue about race. Stop trying to hijack the Christian worldview. Stop trying to hijack Christianity and Christian theology to make this very silly and historically inaccurate point. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you've enjoyed this, please share it out. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. God bless you.